So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th tutorial in the Frontend Web Developer HTML CSS All That Things series. And in this one, we're going to be starting off with CSS finally. Now we have been doing a lot of HTML lately and HTML gets super boring real quick without CSS because CSS actually adds a touch of magic, a touch of, you know, beautifulness. It makes your websites pretty. It allows you to do animations, you know, all that good stuff actually comes from CSS world. Now, for those of you who do not really know what CSS is and why you need that, I'm going to run a very quick experiment. You can see right here, we are on codedam.com. What I'm going to do is go ahead in the inspector and I'm going to start removing the CSS from this page. Now you do not really need to understand how this works, but it will just enable you to see the difference between um, there's there being CSS on the page and there being no CSS on the page. So I'm going to start removing by, let's see. Now I'm just going to search where is the CSS files. And let's see, there should be a bundle CSS. This one is a CSS file, so I just removed it. You can already see that we have some, you know, uh, bad layout going on now so i'm going to remove this one as well oops see things turned out really ugly and yeah i guess that's pretty much it the rest of them are icons and there we have one more style file let's see if we have anything else this is a css block so i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove these css files as well all right so yeah this is basically and obviously there is some more css left that's why it's black and all but yeah, this is how CodeDAM looks without CSS being applied. You can see it's pretty broken, if you can see, right? If I do not really load CSS, you'll see it's pretty broken. So let's start restoring CSS. I'm just going to do command undo here. And once we load back CSS, you can see we are right back in action with all the good stuff CSS provides us, right? So yeah, that's, that's basically, I can tell you how CSS works and everything, but you will really appreciate CSS when you will see that what happens when you remove it from your project, right? So things go broken down, um, you know, things go ugly. And basically the more complicated, the more complex layouts you have and all that stuff here and there, the more you need CSS on your website to load correctly. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And from the next one, we're going to see how we can write our actual CSS files.